What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. New release Physical Media Tuesday is right around the corner. So I'm here to let you know what is coming out on what format and where you'll be able to find it. Now, if you thought last Tuesday was chock full of new releases, you are not ready for what's coming this coming Tuesday. Big new releases that are recently out in movie theaters. We have reissued formats of older titles. And then we also have a huge bunch of collections. If you are a collector of collections, this coming Tuesday is definitely for you. Now, like I mentioned, we do have a lot of new releases, but I guess the biggest of the big new releases is Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds. Now, keep in mind, this movie is still in theaters right now, and it's already coming out on physical media. That's absolutely insane and incredible. It's coming out pretty much on every single format. You have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. You have the Target edition. You have a 4K, and you have a Blu-ray. So if you are jonesing for Free guy you are covered in every single area the next big new release is the green knight by a24 i'm not really jonesing for this title on 4k as well as blu-ray same cover so i'm only featuring one picture for you i don't i'm not going for this one i gotta be honest i saw the trailer it didn't interest me i wasn't intrigued by it to me, this movie I thought was either you love it or you hate it. There was no in-between with this one. I'm going to avoid this one. There's other things that I'm interested in, so I'm going to take a pass on The Green Knight. Next up is Inglorious Bastards. It has Steelbook as well as 4K. You know me, I will be going for that Steelbook. I'm really hoping I can find it out in store as I did not pre-order this one. I'm taking the gamble, so I will go to the Best Buy that I've been having good luck with, Cross my fingers when I walk in and pray that it's there. Up next is Misery on 4K. Kathy Bates' performance alone is worth getting this movie on 4K. I'm digging the slipcover. It's looking pretty nice. So I'm definitely going for this one. It's one of the best horror movies. It's one of the best Stephen King movies, I should say. So I'm definitely going after this one. And I recommend that you go after it too. Up next, we have a horror collection, and that is Friday the 13th collection, but it's only the first eight movies on Steelbook. Now, here's where I'm torn. It is a Steelbook. However, it's only the first eight movies. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up this title or not. Maybe I should say if I see it in store, then I'll get it. If I don't see it, it wasn't meant to be. I don't know. I'll decide what I want to do on Tuesday when it's in front of me. But that is going to be out there. So all you Steelbook collectors, get ready to be looking for Friday the 13th. Next up is the Columbia Classics Collection, which is a limited edition 4K. It has six films inside of it. It has Anatomy of a Murder, Oliver. What else? I'm trying to remember. The Social Network, Stripes. It also has Sense and Sensibility and Taxi Driver. That's the last one. So those are all amazing movies and they're all on 4K like I mentioned. Great set. All wonderful movies. I haven't seen all of them but the ones that I have seen are pretty spectacular. So that is a great collection to have but the price point is at $119 so it's a little bit too expensive for me but if you guys are into 4K format with classic films you might want to pick might want to consider picking this one up because it is limited edition. Coming up next, we also have Carlito's Way on 4K. Now, this movie is getting a steelbook format, but that's not coming out on Tuesday. I think I believe it's coming out on the 19th, so a week later. For some reason, they're spacing out the 4K and the steelbook. Not really sure why. So if you want Carlito on 4K, then that will be that will be available on Tuesday. Up next are a couple of movies that I mentioned in a prior video or two ago, but for some reason I believe they were pushed back because Blu-ray.com is featuring these selections again for this coming Tuesday, and I'm talking about Legend and The Snake Girl and The Silver-Haired Witch. I'm not sure exactly if this is true or not, so I put it into the video just to make sure all my bases were covered. Up next, we have Criterion. Always got to have a Criterion release every single week. And this week is High Sierra. But as I've mentioned before, wait for that Criterion sale. We're only a few weeks away now. Can you believe it? Wow, it just seems like yesterday. We were in July. So the Criterion sale in November. Any Criterion that comes out for the rest of October, I would personally wait on it. Don't jump the gun. Get your half off 
and wait until November. We also have a couple more collections. We got collections, abundance of collections. Kolchak, The Night Stalker, Season 1, and The Flash, Complete 7th Season. If you're jonesing for some haunting and ghosts, we have The Haunting of Bly Manor and The Haunting 2 Series Collection. There's also, we have some great collections here, The Wizarding World, 10 Film Collection. This is all eight Harry Potters. And then the two Fantastic Beast movies, all together in one package. We have Escape Plan, 3 Movie Collection, and he came from the Swamp Collection. I've never heard of that, but it sounds pretty interesting. These movies coming up next, all animation, are exclusive Disney Movie Club titles, I believe. So if you're not a part of Disney Movie Club, you're not going to be able to find these. But if you are, that this is what's coming out. Atlantis 2 Movie Collection, Hunchback of Notre Dame 2 Movie Collection, and Brother Bear 2 Movie Collection. We also have Charmed, Complete 6th Season, and Black Lightning, Complete fourth season. There is A Single Man, The Road, and Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. There's also Deadly Friend. We have a double pack of Ghost Ship and Bedlam and Vera Cruz. Also, The Last Sunset, The Hound of the Baskervilles, and Philibus. Not done yet. Hold on. <laughs> My papers got stuck. There's also The Ugly Ones, 99.9, .9 and Casanova, Last Love. Finally, we have Youth in Revolt. You know it's not a What's New for Blue without a Bruce Willis, a Nicolas Cage, or a Shark movie. We have Bruce Willis's new straight-to-physical media title, Survive the Game, and finally ending with The Loneliest Whale, The Search for 52. So like I mentioned, that is a lot of physical media, all quality, brand new titles. So let me know down below, what are you targeting this coming Tuesday? Are you going for Free Guy, Inglorious Bastards, The Columbia Classics Collection, or Misery? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.